my fellow Food Law and Sovereign Niggas and all three's latest podcast. My name is Craig. I am podcasting among the beautiful swampy mangroves in South Florida. And today's date is March 8th, 2014. And I'm just um, doing a little some documentation on the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Los Angeles. And they have some bands, you know, young, talented chaps. However, I do see some... I do see some smoking guns when they put the uh, city of Fort Lauderdale Police Department and the Broward Sheriff's Office for displaying their militarized vehicles. It looks like they had that, um, they had, um, and for the whole high frequency to, get, to disturb your ears, which they use in Iraq, New York, Pittsburgh. So they're displaying those two vehicles, which is very scary. And it proves in good faith that the city and the county did sold their souls to the federal government, which breached the Tenth Amendment obligations. So that's one thing I have a question because I do recall that um, Scott Israel, when he when he ran he ran for sheriff in 2008, he admitted to himself that he was a member of Homeland Security. So how how, how come you have a elected a, a most powerful elected local servant? a member of a tyrannical organization such as the Department of Homeland Security, which their main goal is to focus on freedom, love, and sovereignty and individuals. So, um, in addition, there even there's even some of the young cadets or young cadets and uh, police officers, all well dressed, had the had the flags, the American flag. The, the city of Florida and the city of Fort Lauderdale all had the golden ridges around it. It does not represent common law, but British maritime law. So why? They were still going to wave that flag because British maritime law is considered foreign influences, which is an endangerment. On the writings of John Jay, he forewarned us about it in Phyllis Papers 2 through 5. About foreign influences is very dangerous to our, our constitutional republic. Um, well, like I said, even the hopefully these people will learn, learn it, and examine. I want. I got. I did have some uh, video footage. Unfortunately, I couldn't really do the whole thing because I got to clean it out. <laughs> That's how it goes. I have to invest in a uh, video camera as soon as possible. But on the contrary, I just gave. I did document some, some of the footage which I have addressed on during this uh, episode. Well, on the other hand, definitely look it up. Look up British Maritime Law. And especially if I'm correct, it would be under the United States Code. I don't know it at the top of my head. But on the, well, however, however, you should definitely look that up for sure. And, you know, but thereafter, it's a pretty positive, positive atmosphere. But you always got to look out for those symbols, all right, of tyranny. And I say that in good faith and out of homage. And hopefully one day we'll stop, we'll be a constitutional republic again rather than an empire. Because empires really crumble and it totally backfires on all of us. So, um, it's, like I said, a little good positive atmosphere, you know. You got people out here serving the country from the Army, you know, Navy, Air Force, Marines, which is good. Always give them, always give them my, my, my respect. But what's one thing you have to do is pay attention. Read between the lines, my friends. And, um, wow, I'm just, just taking a little stroll here. Um, what, let's see what else they have to, to observe any more, any more symbolism. Mind Control 101 to be exact. So, so, um, hmm, interesting here. Yeah. So, a nice little crowd to be exact. You got all these radio stations parading their little vehicles. Big one, uh, Magic 102, Sports Talk Radio 790, which is ESPN the ticket. Hopefully, a lot of these individuals know, should know, 
what the origin, what was uh, the origin of St. Patrick. Because um, if I recall, in Ireland, they go to church twice that day. They don't go out getting drunk and indulge and, and just say, oh, there's another drunken Irishman. To me, I'm not even Irish. I find that sacrilege, sacrilegious for sure. So I really observe, pay attention, and I, de- I suggest you look it up, the Saint Pat- their origin of St. Patrick's Day, especially in Britannica. So they're very accurate and, and informative, too. And always observe responsibly. And of course, you got all the little out- this outstanding teas, this Florida 2013, all these little celebrities waving, oh yeah, we're waving at them. Yep. Festival, the Festival Queen, okay. Another, another one over here, Outstanding Team, Miss Broad Outstanding Team. So, everyone's waving, yay, all right, woo! And of course, you, you have another crew, New River Middle School. Hopefully a person wearing their horns know what the roots of the Norsemen is all about. I know the, the Norsemen and the Irish did fought in battle. I just want to see if I find any more little symbolic messages. I thought it was going to be my little girl anyway. Of course, you got the kids with the go cards. That's pretty cute. For the, with their shamrock flags. Yeah, so, um, that's the info. So I want to put this on my, you know, speaker page. You can hook me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and, um, Google+. Plus. I uh, will put the, including adding that little small footage of my video, so you can smack me later. <laughs> it's all well and good. And that's really it for now. So, um, oh, hold on here. Before I go, something is interesting. And you got, you got, you got people clapping. And of course, you have the heroes entering. Okay, a little like tactical group here. On their camouflage. Yep. HelloFoundation.com. And everyone's waving. They're throwing little goodies. What are they throwing? Candy made of uh, high fructose corn syrup. Poison. Yeah, we'll step over. There you go, kids. They're from Mother Nature. Real fast foods. Fruits and vegetables are good. Not Starburst. Too corporate. Yep, so they're waving their, uh, yep, waving their, uh, yep, waving their uh, pens around. They have a little nice little camouflage hats. I guess that's all for now, my friends. So, um, that's all I got to say. I will put all that stuff I addressed before mentioned as soon as possible. Until next time, take care of yourselves, keep on spreading the love, and may your guardian spirits be with you.